hi, my name is Emmy. I'm a freshman from Abraham Lincoln High School. My poem is titled, To My Non-Autistic Audience Members. Please, don't ridicule me. Don't laugh in my face when I say or s something awkward. When, uh, when I say something impulsive, don't laugh at me or say I'm obnoxious. And please, don't tell me I'm inept. That the perfect person I made was not so proper. That who I present myself to be was not as delightfully dumb as I thought. My differences made me who I am, but not because I am peculiar, but because you couldn't handle me, abusing me until I hated myself, leaving me behind, never inviting me to birthday parties. You taught me pain. You taught me to be conventional. You taught me to be ashamed of my differences, so I hid them behind a mask. I didn't know the social rules, so I broke them over and over and over again. It is only when I break your rules that I am shamed. You give me that look, a stare, an odd glance, and I know that I am wrong. I must conform because when I don't, I am an outcast. But I didn't start out this way. I loved my irregularity, the funny dresses I wore, my ratty hair, the absurd things I said. I loved that. You changed me. I started wearing normal things. I combed my ratty hair. The absurd things I said, I started apologizing for. If you had been kind, how much of my life would have been different? I learned in school so much more than two plus two equals four. I learned that who I am was and is wrong. For years, I've worn a mask that makes me look natural. The internet says that autism masking is common, but it's so exhausting pretending to be someone I am not because I never get a break. I can never truly be myself. And now you're telling me I am perfect the way I am. But that's not what your eyes say. And you're telling me not to be sheepish, to be myself, to have confidence. Well, I won't. I will strive to disguise myself until you don't know the difference between the real me and the person I present. I will disassociate until there's nothing left so that I can view myself from the outside and keep my feelings for me. But the only problem is, is I can't. My autism will make sure that I don't. And although I am autistic, I have all the same feelings, and it doesn't mean that when you wound me, I suffer less than you. I am autistic, and you will learn to live with me, with or without my mask. You will one day learn that the ridiculous things I do are no more ridiculous than you, because... I am more than my autism, and you will learn to love me.